Hey everybody, Marianne Monarch here, author of A Feast of Serendib, and we're now developing Vegan Serendib, um, hopefully out by the end of the year, we'll see. Uh, and today we're going to do a very quick, simple eggplant salad. So for this, you can use different kinds of eggplant. You can use, this is the kind of eggplant that you'll find in most American grocery stores. You can use Indian eggplant, which are these cute little ones. Um, you could use Chinese eggplant, which tend to be longer and thinner. Any of them are fine. They all taste a little different. Um, so whatever, whatever is easy for you to get is probably what I'd recommend. It's a two-stage process. So First step is you're going to need to slice the eggplant and um, salt and turmeric it. Um, and what that's going to do is, one, it's going to season it, uh, which you, know, you could do right before cooking. But instead, we're going to spread it out on paper towels and leave it for an hour. And what will happen is water will come out of the eggplant and rise to the surface. You can blot that off. And then when you fry it, it's going to be a lot crispier. So that'll be delicious. Uh, there's uh, sort of, I think right now, a little bit of contention about whether it also draws out some bitterness. So you'll often see that in eggplant recipes that you salt it to remove the bitter water. And I think I actually said that in Feast of Serendib. But um, recently I've been reading things that indicate that 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 modern American eggplant at any rate is not actually bitter anymore. It's been sort of bred, so it doesn't have that much of that flavor. Um, but you may have access to heirloom eggplant, which is still bitter. So either way, uh, it's going to, it's worth doing this step so that it fries better. Okay, so we've done it in advance. So behind me, what you're seeing is eggplant that has been spread out, that uh, has been sliced, put in a bowl. We added one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of turmeric, um, and usually I would use one large eggplant for this recipe, um, and then, or several of the little Indian eggplants. Um, and I left it for an hour, and so now it is glistening and full of water. So. Um, do you want to come take a look? All right, my, my able assistant, Kavya, is going to bring the camera over so you can see the eggplant. And I think you can see some of this. There's some water here, and um, you see that? All right, and uh, also the paper towel is now kind of soaked with water. And so what I would do is before frying, I would just take a little more paper towel and blot it out. Now, the only problem with this process is that it uses a lot of paper towels, which is sort of a little wasteful. So another option is that you can just squeeze it um, over the stove, and that is perfectly fine. Um, you can let it sit in a bowl and then squeeze it uh, over the stove, and maybe blot it a little bit if that doesn't get as much water out as you want, but you don't have to use quite as many paper towels. All right, so we'll do that with the the rest of it as well, and then we're going to uh, do a little bit of cutting. So back over there. All right, I'm not gonna cut this eggplant right now because I don't need it right now, and then we'll just end up with a lot of eggplant. But what I would do is, if you're using two different kinds, the main thing you're gonna do is aim to have everything roughly the same size. So I would do for this thin slices, right? So you'll end up with thin rounds. And for this one, I would quarter it, boom, boom, and then again, thin slices. So they'd be different shapes, but roughly the same size, which is what matters. Okay, then you're actually almost done with prep. You need one onion, which I think I injured my wrist. Um, so I can, today is the first day I can kind of cut again reasonably effectively. I don't, my, my daughter has volunteered to come and cut for me, but 
She doesn't really want to be on camera. She can do it. Are you sure? It's cutting an onion. <laughs> Come on over here. Maybe I will have you do a little bit of it. Okay. So this is Kavya White. Hi. <laughs> and so I'm going to peel the onion. That much I can do at any rate. And we're just going to slice it. So it's pretty straightforward. Move this out of the way. So you're going to hold it and just do thin slices, right? Like that. So I'm fairly thin and I sharpen the knife in advance. So it, yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I can already feel my eyes getting teary. You can feel your eyes getting teary. I know. It is. This is the price of Sri Lankan food. <laughs> you just have to accept that the reason our food is so delicious is because we are not afraid of the onions. And so you, in your journey to adulthood, will learn to not be afraid of it. Of, it's like those training montages in fantasy movies where the young hero hero or heroine has to you know learn how to like in mulan you haven't seen mulan yet we should watch mulan um i've seen mulan it's not the new oh you've seen that so in mulan right she learns how to like fight and be a warrior and it's hard and she gets hurt and it takes her a while um but you have to just kind of like work through the pain so all right, and I don't, know if you, I don't know if you remember this. You're getting kind of close to your fingers at this point, and it's hard to move them. So what you do at this stage is you can tilt it over, and then you can start again like this. So, of course, that does expose a little more of the onion, but that just means your training will go faster. I don't know what okay. I'm to do there. <laughs> I know, you went sideways. So I would just go, you can just go straight down. So... All right. One more? One more. One more. Look at that. She's tough. She can do it. When the, uh, Start at the end. Go over. Uh, when, don't, don't go at an angle. Just yeah. go straight down. Yeah. Um, when the revolution comes, she'll be ready. So the onion revolution. <laughs> are so, the onions revolting or are people revolting against the onions? People are revolting for the onions. Oh. We're <laughs> revolting for good food that uses lots of flavoring ingredients, such as onions, ginger, garlic, and spices. Yay! <laughs> so um, it's really a service for all mankind. So they just don't know it yet. They don't know it yet, but they will. They will, you know, they will, they will celebrate you. I mean, they say that a hero is only never celebrated in their own time. What No, a prophet is never never recognized in their own time. So it may be, let me move this. Um, it may be that, move towards the center of the board a little. There you go. Um, so it may be that it's only after your death that people will recognize and appreciate what you've done for them, but. Okay, <laughs> okay don't cut your finger. Oh, she's gonna cut her fingers. All right. I promise, I won't you promise? All right. Okay. It will feel really bad if you do. So. No, you warned me. I didn't warn you. Well, but still. Okay. Don't don't try and put that one back on. It's okay. So yeah, you can do one more slice. But if those top bits come off, it's it's tricky to like position them back on there. Okay, good. Go wash your hands and we're gonna, next step is there's one more thing to cut, which is also a tricky thing to cut in a different way, which are the chilies. So, she made it through one onion. You know, when we're cooking for Sri Lankan New Year or for our big Christmas party, do you know how many onions I cut? Well, on average, it's three onions per dish, and this is a little unusual that it only needs one, but this is a sambal, it's a side dish, rather than um, a curry or, you know, something that's going to be a larger thing. This is more of an accompaniment, which I think I maybe forgot to say. Uh, this is eggplant sambal. It's a side dish. It's an accompaniment. You put it typically on a plate with rice and curry, um, although I think it would actually also be great on a sandwich uh, as its own thing. Um, so do you remember when we have like the big parties and there's yeah. like 
So typically, I think I'd say one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe 12 curries on the table, right? Three onions each is how many onions? 36. 36. Look at that. Eighth grade math. <laughs> so, um, so, hooray. We're, we're, school has been, been a little challenging during uh, pandemic shutdown times, but luckily she has not forgotten basic multiplication. Okay, so we cut off the end, and then we're going to, I can't really do this, but you're going to cut it in half lengthwise. Okay. And so it can be a little slippery, yeah, so try and hold it there. And then like saw a little bit. There you go. Good. But, and apply a little force and it should go down. Okay, no, no, don't hold the blade like that. You got to hold it here. <laughs> that seems so much easier. Wow. Well, all right. You got to, you, ha you can, uh, there, see, once, once it, you had it. You actually had it mostly there, but mostly you have to apply a little force. Okay. So now what you have here is you have the seeds, seeds of the green chili, and we're using green um, finger hot chilies. Um, and the seeds are very, very spicy, and they also don't taste great. So depends on how picky we're being, but we'll often um, take the seeds out. So you can kind of like slight, oh, I really, I can't do this. Well, but I want to show you. Okay, so you're, you're kind of like slicing this out right? And then you kind of scrape away the seeds. So you're left with that. All right, try on that one. I'm going to wash my hand with soap and water. <laughs> you are? You are. Yeah, that's okay. And yeah, no, it's okay if it takes you a couple passes. So that's fine. You can also just skip this step entirely and just accept a little more heat and a little, you know, a slight bitter taste from the seeds. All right, good. All right. So in theory, we're going to do this two more times. Do you think you can manage it two more times? Yeah, they're going to be smaller. Okay. So I think I can do it. All right. Good. Cut off the end. That. There you go. That's all right. It didn't hurt. Ah, 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 ah. No. Come on down. This is this is Arya. Arya isn't supposed to cook. So now you've got a whole bunch of stuff mixed together. Oh, no, no, not yet. We're not, not done, done yet. We're not done because we have to chop this up. Oh, so, okay. so almost done, almost done. So we've taken out the seeds. We're going to toss this stuff. Okay. All right. And now, now you just want to cut them. Just like that. Just chop it up. They're supposed to be somewhat finely. You, you kind of want to aim for somewhat finely chopped. So if there's, she's not going to go through. And uh, you're, you're learning that Kavya has a little bit of a perfectionist streak, and which is a great thing in the kitchen. So um, and luckily, we can speed this up if we need to. <laughs> so and you can I take us. <laughs> All right. While she's doing that, the next thing we're going to do is fry the eggplant. So we need the oil to get hot. So I've put some vegetable oil in a big, um, in a large flat uh, frying pan. So we're back. We're ready for the next step, which is frying. So I had some oil going. 
vegetable oil, you could use canola oil, coconut oil, etc. Um, if you have a, a fryer with a thermometer, this is even easier. Um, but typically, basically all you need to do is get the get it up to high, throw a little water in, a couple drops, carefully, because uh, you don't want it to spatter and hit you in the face, right? So, and what the water will do is it, it pops. So you hear that? That's how you know it's ready. If you have it on really high, you might want to turn it down a little bit at that point because, um, because if you leave it on really high, it'll actually get too hot and things will start burning. So I've already turned it down. And so maybe bring the camera over. Can you see? I'm gonna, I'm really just gonna start putting eggplant slices in and, and um, you don't wanna crowd the pan too much because, and this is true anytime you're frying, if you put too much stuff in, every piece you put in kind of lowers the temperature a little bit and what'll happen is it'll end up being not at frying temperature. So don't get your hands too close. Don't want to burn yourself, etc. And so on. Yeah, but you know, they're they're very light little pieces, so okay. So I would say that's that's getting reasonably full. Now Ideally, you have something like this, which is called a spider. Um, they're pretty easy to find these days. You used to have to go to Chinatown to get them. And they make their, their ideal for pulling things out of frying oil. So you want these to just brown a little bit. You don't want them to get really brown. Um, you could flip them over so that they you know, hopefully brown a little evenly on both sides. Okay. And then start pulling them out. I would shake it a little, get some of the excess oil out, put them on some paper towels. Here you really do need some paper towels uh, to sop up the extra oil. And and then we're just gonna keep doing that until they're all fried, so. Do you wanna try? Sure. All right, Covey is gonna fry. I just like toss them in. Just toss them in carefully, yep. There you go, this is, if you ever wanna make yourself French fries, this is basically the same procedure. All right, keep putting them in. There you go. Yeah, and in fact, like, it's rather than like throwing them in that makes it splatter more right so actually like coming closer and dropping it in is safer go ahead but you'll see it doesn't splash up as much and you you there's a temptation to put in a bunch all at once but what happens then is they tend to clump together and then you've got to take the spider and separate them so I find it's a little easier just doing them one by one but maybe a little faster because you want them to cook at roughly the same rate mm, there's still a fair bit of open space four or five more That's probably good. All right, so then you can use the spider to, you know, carefully, carefully turn them over. Right, let them, you know, so they brown on both sides. Usually, what's on the bottom browns a little bit more. And if there's, do you see that one that browns sort of too much? Pull that one out. That was probably the first one I put in. It just had a lot more time in there than the others. It's okay. Yeah, I sort of keep rough track as I go, but 
that's okay. All right, and then I would, I'd say they're getting pretty, they're pretty much there. So go ahead and start taking them out. So scoop a bunch up, shake, uh, yeah, like shake off some oil and then put it down. Yep. Okay. Try and get some more because they're going to start to burn. Let's see. All right. And you should be able to get quite a few at once. <laughs> this spider is also a little more bowl shaped. We have another one that's flatter that's a little easier to use for this frying pan, I think. All right. You want to do more or do you want me to do it? All right, keep going. It's good practice. All right, but try and go quicker, quicker and without throwing so much. Just drop. Yeah, there we go. I know, but it splashes more. It might splash back onto your hand. That would, be good. that would not be good. What do you do if you get hot oil on your hand? Uh, water. Immediately go to the sink, cold run cold water over it. I mean, if you're cooking by yourself, turn off the fire, but then immediately go to the sink and run cold water over it. Uh, for a few minutes, you got to stand there and let it go. Um, There are all these old wives tales about what you should do if you get a burn and I almost don't want to tell you about them because then you might get it in your head. Like people used to say to put butter on a burn. That's totally the wrong thing to do. Don't do that. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. More. More. You can do more. Okay. That's fine. Start turning them over. They're browning quite a bit, so. All right, go ahead and take them out. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Try and put them on the part of the paper towel that doesn't have anything on yet. Otherwise, what's happening is it's dripping oil down onto the vegetables that are already there. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, you want to do more? All right. All right, keep going. Go ahead and put the rest in. There's not that much left. Just finish it off. Good. Look at you. You can be an expert soon. This is great. You know what this means. Now that you know how to fry things, we can make fries. all kinds of Sri Lankan short eats that require frying. And French fries. And French fries. Daddy has to teach you how to make French fries. He makes very nice steak frites. Well. <laughs> all right, you can start taking them out. So last bit. Um, ideally, you'd want to let this... Hmm, cool a tiny bit. It doesn't have to cool very much, just enough that it's not going to burn your hands. So, uh, which really just doesn't take very long. And now we're just going to combine these ingredients in a bowl. So we're taking our onions, break those up. And we don't need to add salt because we already salted and put turmeric seasoning on the eggplant. So this dish is already seasoned with spicing. We'll add the green chili to the onions. 
We'll put the eggplant in, all that beautiful crispy eggplant. It doesn't stay crispy. Um, if you want, you can, of course, just eat it straight up. Mm. Oh, there's a crispy piece. It's good, right? It's like a potato chip, but it's a vegetable. It's better for you. Mm hmm because it's you know parts of it are softer parts of it are crispier right so yes it's if you can if you get to like this kind of thing it is way better for you than potato chips all right and I'm squeezing in some lime I think that there's an amount in my cookbook but honestly it's sort of to taste and kind of depending on how much lime I have around um, and then it's easiest to do this with your clean hand is you're really just kind of mixing it together and that's it. There isn't really anything more to this. If you want, you can add a little bit of coconut milk. Sometimes I add a quarter cup of coconut milk, which kind of binds it all together um, nicely, but it's also just great like this. Um, so there we go. Eggplant sambal, a lovely thing to put on a rice and curry plate or make into a sandwich all on its own. Any questions? Thanks everybody.